Today I'm going to talk about creating a quiz in PowerPoint. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Office 365. Um, for those of you that have older versions, it's actually pretty much the same. It hasn't really changed even if you're on the Mac. There could be some slight variations. Um, I'll also make this a podcast. So for those of you listening, I'll kind of explain my steps um, just so you can, you know, if you want to listen and do it at the same time, you can. Um, I think that that's fine. So on my screen here, what I have is I just, I've just started a new PowerPoint file. I'm choosing my theme. I'm just going to click a blank theme and I'm going to have a blank presentation up on the, the screen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple new slides. I'm going to create like three or four slides um, just so that I have something to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quiz. How am I going to do that? Um, we're going to create a fake one. So we'll, I'm going to create a question. So I'm on the first slide here and I'm going to create a quiz question. And I'll just say, you know, what color is the sky? And we're going to act like the sky is only blue, not black and all the colors it can be. We're going to say, what color is the sky? And the sky can be, you know, let me type in some sample responses. So I'm going to type in blue, red, green, and purple. And yeah, technically the sky can be red in the morning or pink and all kinds of stuff like that. We're just going to say it's blue. All right. So what do I need to do? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my second slide and I'm going to create a correct answer slide and I'll just call it correct answer and I'll just type in like yay you have done well or good job or whatever so say good job and then we're gonna go to I'm gonna go to slide three and I'm gonna call this in incorrect slide all right, so let's see, and I'm gonna say, sorry, you are incorrect. And I might have a link here that says like, go back to quiz or something like that. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back to my first slide and I am going to actually make it work. So I'm gonna select my blue text so I selected the text, the, the answer, the answer blue. I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna to go to link. I can also right click and go to link, but sometimes when you right click, PowerPoint by default likes to have like a spell check come up or copy come up. So the link doesn't always pop up. So I usually like to just go to insert and I'm gonna press link. Once I get the link, it can be a little confusing. So I see this on the very left-hand side, existing file, place in this document, create a new document or email address. I'm gonna select place in this document. And what I'm gonna do, since this is the correct answer, I'm gonna select correct answer slide, which is my second slide. I'm gonna click okay. And then for my red, green, and purple responses, I'm gonna link each one of these the same way, select the text, go to insert, link and I'm going to select place in this document and I'm going to select the incorrect slide and I can technically create an incorrect slide for each one of these for this example I'm not all right now I'm going to play my presentation I'm going to play the PowerPoint and let's see what happens if I click blue correct it goes to my uh, correct slide if I click an incorrect answer like green it goes to the incorrect slide so I've created a very simple quiz in PowerPoint now there might be a few things I want to do here like let's say I want to create a button on each of these correct or incorrect answer slides like the incorrect answer let's say I want to create a button and I'll just create it as text that says go back to question same way, I'll just make that text a link. I'm going to select it, select insert, link, and I'm going to say go to my question slide. Click OK, and now it will. The next thing I might do is on my actual question, I might not want the users, because right now if I play this, 
and my users press the and a mouse key, they just automatically go to the next slide. I may not want that to happen. So what I actually might do is I might go to transitions and uncheck on mouse click on that slide. What that does is it makes it so that if I play the slide and the user clicks the mouse button, they can't go anywhere. So now our quiz is starting to look a little better, right? I'm basically done with it. So let me play it. I'll select the wrong answer. And guess what happens? I go back, I'm incorrect. I can go back to my question. I select the correct answer and I've got it. So this is a great way to create any kind of like knowledge check and instruction. Um, you know, what it doesn't do is it doesn't store your responses. So it's really good as a knowledge check. You know, force the users to press the correct answer before going on. So it can be used for those kind of instructional strategies. Um, it's not good for keeping track. That's where the disadvantage of PowerPoint really comes in. Thank you.